What's happening guys? Welcome to the Rebel Workshop. So today's video I thought I'd show you how I put the workshop together. How it came to be. So when we moved into this house, the previous owners used this room as their kids' playroom, nursery type room. And the decor definitely went with it. The wall behind me had numbered wallpaper on it, so I had all these multicoloured numbers just all over it. The rest of the walls were like a light blue, but then they decided to cut up this wallpaper, cut out the numbers, 1 to 10, and put it on this wall. And instead of just using wallpaper paste, they used some kind of glue and just stuck it on. To be honest, that was a bit annoying. I tried using a steamer to get the numbers off this wall and it just wasn't working. So I ended up having to peel it off. And once I peeled them off, of course it took some of the paint off. So I had to then fill that in with a thin coat of filler, sand it down, put a primer on top of that, but then I was ready to go. So the whole idea slash concept of this room was it was meant to be in a rebel base somewhere and the guys had just came in and decided we'll use this room as our workshop room. So the plan was to try and make some sort of faux concrete wall but a bit darker. I didn't want a light concrete wall. I wanted to make it look a wee bit more spacey somehow. That's a thing. Do they have concrete walls in space in Star Wars? Now this is done way before I thought about doing this channel or even filming things. I took photos but just not every single step unfortunately, especially with the walls because I was just getting on with it. But let me show you how I did it. So let's do this! So you can see where I started. You actually see the white bits, that's where I had to fill in the paint, smooth it over. And you can see the colour of the wall as well. And if you look to the left hand side, you can see the number of wallpaper. Yeah, so I looked at YouTube, looked up different tutorials to see how to do a fake concrete wall. Now I didn't want it to be textured, I was thinking about the future just in case we do sell the house and move out, I don't want to leave a horrible textured wall for people. So I went with a paint technique. So the techniques that I found involved using a plaster trowel to scrape the paint on and build up different layers, from dark to light. So that's what I did, and after several different layers, I got a base coat that I really liked, but it was missing something, and I had a can copper spray paint so I sprayed that onto the wall. I then used a painting sponge just to blend it in a wee bit better then on top of that I did a wet paint drip technique just to make it look a wee bit more like concrete. Now this just involved putting some watered down paint on the wall then using a water squirter bottle just soaking it and letting it drip down the wall and I think it looked Pretty good. Next we removed the old carpet then put some dark wood laminate flooring down and I started setting things up including my IKEA glass shelf with my custom lightsabers in it and the shelves for my Star Wars miniature helmet collection. Don't really have room for all these helmets but these mini ones they fit perfectly. And then it was onto the shelving. I wanted it to look like it was just pipes that were up on the wall and they just put on wooden planks and it worked out pretty well. I think it looked great to be honest with you. But it was missing something. I needed something, some sort of cabinet to go underneath the shelves to put all my tools and things in. But try to find something that fitted under the bottom shelf was pretty impossible. I found things wide enough but not short enough. But then I came across this IKEA cabinet. And with just a wee bit of guesstimate, I figured if I cut it in half, 
it would fit underneath. And it did. Barely. But it worked out pretty well. So the idea behind it was it was an old empire container that the rebels had found and decided to repurpose. But more onto that in a minute. Next was the door. I've always wanted a Han and Carbonite. So I thought the back of the door would be a perfect place for it. I can't really afford or have the time to do a proper 3D one, so I've just used a vinyl sticker instead. And this looks great as it is, and it'll do me until I actually get round to doing a proper 3D version on the back of the door. So back to the container, I came up with some metal signs, I had them printed off, just to add to the whole story that this came from the Empire. They look weathered and look pretty good. To be honest with you, I do need to go back and actually give them a proper dirt weathering, but that'll be sometime soon. Then just to add to the whole story again, I added some rebel symbols, as if they just sprayed it. About this time is when I started and finished the Death Star wall panel light above the door. If you haven't seen that video, go back and have a wee look. I'll put a wee link up the top. So next was on to preparing for the worktop. Now the desk worktop was going to be sitting on these IKEA drawers, but being inspired by the Droid Depot, the Galaxy's Edge, I painted them a wee bit. So they look a wee bit more worn and chipped. Again, I don't have any videos or pictures of this apart from these ones. Of course I've dirtied them up a wee bit. And with the chipping and the grey and the red orange paint, I think they look great and they stand out pretty well. Now at the same time I got some pegboards from Ikea which I painted just the same way that I did the blaster rack. Again I'll put a link up at the top just to see how I did that. So I just added the same kind of stripe with a bit of chip, chip paint technique. Then I weathered it after that just to give it a bit of a grimy used look. And here they all are, all ready for the worktop. So while I was waiting for the worktop to arrive, I got the pegboards on the wall, brackets for the shelves, and the lights all sorted out, including my reused BB-8 light. Then the worktop came. It was three meters in length. Unfortunately, I had to cut it in half to actually get into the room. But once it was in the room, it was fine. I added in some hairpin style legs in the middle just to give it a wee bit of support where it is joined together. I then went on to stain it a dark Jacobean oak just to match the shelves. I then gave it all a Danish oil finish just to give it a bit of protection. Put the shelf on and the desk was done. And I love how it's turned out. It's perfect for us for what we need. I did then have to go to the shelves and finish them off with the same Danish oil finish because it didn't look quite right. But after that was done, they looked great as well. So there we go guys, that's where I was just before I started doing this YouTube channel. I literally just finished doing the worktop when I filmed my first video. Maybe don't look at that one, it's not the greatest. I was fixing the TIE fighter that's up here. But since then, I've done quite a lot. I've added to the room, we've added these signs, the door signs. Made some more blasters, done some control panels. But it's a work in progress, and I will keep adding to the room. One thing I really do need to do though, is add some more wall greeblies. I need some more control panels, I need some more wires hanging down. 
just to make it a bit more Star Wars -y looking. One thing I really need to do is to go back to these drawers under the desks. At the time, I loved how they turned out, but it wasn't quite how I envisioned, envisioned them. And I do have plans to add more to it. And it's quite a simple wee project, which I might have already started. So that might be the next video, but we'll see. So as always guys, thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. I hope I've inspired you to try and do some sort of Star Wars thing, whether it be a wee corner of a room or a full, full blown room. There's some amazing builders out there and I'm just glad to be part of this community. So guys, thank you once again. Please remember to subscribe, like and hit that notification button and I'll see you next time on the Rebel Workshop.